Cancer, welcome to the Winds of Jupiter, June 2018 Tarot Reading. Now that was some pretty cool magnetic activity on the sun in that NASA video. And those plasma streams that come off the sun and make the northern lights around the atmosphere of the earth brings a lot of energy into our life, for the good or the bad. But you have a lot of good energy in your reading. Now the rune I picked for you is Isa. And it means ice, and it can mean stagnation, but you have to understand it really is a time for rest. You know, when you do this time for rest, you can do some small things in the backdrop to move forward in your life. It's not that things aren't getting done. It just means that things aren't moving along real fast. And here, ice can be real thin at times and treacherous. And then again, it can signify cold emotions, unemotional. And really holding in your emotions is not a really good thing. Now the overall energy card that you received is the Ace of Cups. This is about revamping new joys and inner peace with the relationships with your family and friends. This can be about deeper bonds, deeper intimacy, more attunement, more attunement and a compassion and love, more of an emotional awareness of planting some new seeds, setting a reset button, because this is a promise of a new beginning for your affections. This can cover a lot of ground here for offers, gifts, opportunities, encounters, intuition, synchronicities. Wherever you draw your attentions to for your affections really dictates where your life goes and your life path. And here with the Isa rune showing up, it says to have more warmth and compassion and passion. Now I pulled a Minciati card for you and this is a deck I put together that has all the zodiac signs, virtues, elements, and the senses as well and you receive touch. It's saying here that you want the tactile sense of touch. A lot of times it brings in security, an overwhelming feeling of love. It kind of runs through your body. This can also mean that you're sensitive touch-wise. You're sensitive to a lot of things that are happening around you. That means that now you're gaining some more compassion. If some things didn't work out, maybe it's time to have some grace, some mercy, unconditional forgiveness, to set that big reset button for what's happening in your relationships. Now the cards on the left for what you know, you receive the Ace of Wands and the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. And the Ace of Wands is another promise for a new beginning, but it's a spiritual new beginning, one with creative, inspirational feelings. You know, there's the ether that's the way top above, and then under that is the Wands for spirit. Then after that, it's the Swords for communication and intellect. And then it's emotions and cups and then it's down to the base ground of pentacles. You have to start from the top and work down. It's iterative. And here you have a new wands beginning. This is like the cosmos giving you a green light for new enterprises in your life, bringing in more creative expression. And certainly this is going to ameliorate the Ace of Cups up there for the overall energy. They're going to work off each other. The spirit and the emotions are now rising high. But you have to remember that aces are only a promise for a new beginning. You're the one that has to roll up your sleeves and do all the hard work. Rome wasn't built in a day. I said that to somebody the other day and they said, oh really? <laughs> now the wish card here, the Nine of Cups is saying that there's fulfillment, satisfaction, happiness. Feels like here that happiness is the price of this wish card. If the Ace of Wands is doing its job, you could acquire some spiritual inner peace that's going to fall down then into some contentment with your emotions with the Ace of Cups. But you have to be realistic about all this and you can't be in some wonderland and some imaginary idea or be idealistic about this new beginning of love and spirit. And that's reinforced by the cards in the center for what is or can be yours. 
Because you received the Queen of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Now you have three Aces. The Ace of Swords is the Sword of Truth, Victory. You overcame some things. And since you have all of these new beginnings, evidently you did accomplish or complete or finish or just walk away from something to the point now that you're going to be starting over again. The Ace of Swords says it was a hard road to get to where you're at. But now you have a new beginning. What are you going to do with it? The Queen of, of Pentacles is saying, be realistic about the new goals that you're going to be setting. Because if you aren't, you're going to be disappointed. She's a queen of pragmatism. Get a grip on reality. Make sure there's reality in the type of things now that you're looking for over the horizon. Now the cards for yourself or self-awareness is the world and the five of wands. Now the five of wands is a struggle card. You might be disagreeing with people, spying with them a little bit. You know, you say something sarcastic and they say something back. But a lot of times it can be a struggle within. Maybe what was going on that required you to take this eyes out rest and kind of recoup yourself and all of these new beginnings was sparked from some type of conflict that required you to change your direction in life. Now the world card is saying, yeah, you came to the end of a cycle. Obviously, you learned something because now you're kind of sitting back and making some decisions about new beginnings. And my goodness, you have an emotional, intellectual, and spiritual new beginning are promises for them. So now what are you going to do with it? You kind of graduated from whatever you had to learn. So now it's time to take on some new challenges. Now the future cards have a diverse feeling to them. You got the King of Cups, the Hanged Man, the Magician, and here it is, the Ace of Pentacles. Now you have all four Aces from all four suits. Now the King of Cups is saying, take control of your emotions. He masters his emotions so he doesn't get insanely mad. Have all those mood swings. And if something did happen in the past, he's one guy that can help you heal from hurt compassions and emotions. Now you have the hangman there. There's a personal struggle going on and it's time to maybe change your direction, change your path. You're seeking some wisdom now for all of these new beginnings. Usually the hangman requires you to sacrifice something or have some small sacrifices involved as you're working along. You know, especially in the love category, there's always a lot of sacrifices and give and take. And with the magician here, it's saying, yeah, there is a new beginning. You're going to start taking some ideas and bringing them into substance. Saying here that there's a lot of potential out there to take advantage of it and that you have all the tools that you need to start building a new life after these reset buttons for all four aces. Because the ace of pentacles here is saying a new beginning for earthly things. A pentacle is being offered with the promise for more for financial rewards. But this is also about health and well-being. About the touch and about the love. About the spirit. About the intellect. And about be being able to have a realistic perspective on your life. And I wish you acceptance, peace, and happiness.